This is my patient assessment scene size up video. For this scenario, we're going, we're coming up to a motor vehicle accident. So my first step before I even get out of the ambulance is to determine the scene safety. So the car is in place, it's not in a ditch. So I'm going to determine that the scene is safe. There is traffic, so I am going to use proper precautions and put on my high-vis vest. And because of the nature of the accident, we're going to put on gloves and eye protection. Um, so because of the whole traffic situation, I'm going to call in backup to uh, direct traffic. So I'll probably have, if there isn't already on the scene, police, because of the fact that it is a car accident, I'll probably have fire, the fire department. <clears throat> So there will only one patient, so this pillow is going to be my patient. So that's determining the number of patients. Um, so we're going to determine the, so obviously the nature of this is a uh, trauma. So it's going to be the mechanism of injury rather to nature of illness for a medical call. Um, I've already determined that I need additional resources. Uh, the patient we're going to assess whether the patient is stable or not. The patient appears to be stable, but because of the fact that it was in a, they were in a car accident, we're going to assume that they may have uh, moved their, hyperextended their neck, and we're going to put the C-spine collar on them to stabilize their head and neck to prevent further trauma. Um, I've spoken and identified that the patient is 23 years old and they're a female. So I've determined the approximate age and sex of the patient. And the car is stable. Their traffic has been controlled. The patient doesn't seem to be in much pain. Nothing's broken. They said they feel fine. So from what I can see, there is no life-threatening injuries and nothing that I need to immediately assess. And that is my video.